Welcome back to the Brofoot Contessa. You're just in time. My roommate Ralphie is coming home soon, which means that it's just about time to pop my famous tuna casserole in the oven. Oh. And really, how hard can that be? Close call. A Contessa always has grace in the kitchen. So, thoughts? You all just shot this today? <laughs> yeah, we were actually all in a bush. I'm still picking twigs out of the windscreen. So, she got it. The envelope. For the first time at the party? Oh, yeah. So, who's the guy who gave it to her? Oh, hell if I know. My question is, what's in the envelope and why is she so afraid of it? What I'm afraid of, or not afraid of per se, because I, Betsy, am not afraid of anything, is the lack of commitment. You all have to be more like Kieran. I wish Kieran was here. Don't say that name in this house. Jenna! Jenna would totally know what's oh. in the envelope. Hello? Hey, Jenna! So you guys know about the envelopes too? Jenna, were you just spying on Betsy too? Oh no, I, I bird watch on the weekends. I'm looking for the Kickapoo loon. Back to the letters. Oh, um, okay. So I was downtown last week and I saw Pierce Bennett walking to class with the guy who runs the satirical newspaper. I think it's called the Starch. Well, anyway, you know Pierce wouldn't be walking to class with someone unless it was strictly on business. What? Well, Pierce Bennett. He was walking to class with the guy from the starch. But what was in the letters? No, who's Pierce Bennett? Oh, I'm getting there. Okay, so PB and the starch guy were hanging out downtown, supposedly talking business, and 20 minutes later, who comes up and talks to them but DJ Overdose? Christ have mercy. Oh, from the morning dose. Wait, mm. overdoses aren't funny. Jenna, what's in the letters? Oh, why would Pierce Bennett be hanging out with both the starch guy and DJ Overdose at the same time. Think about it, that's half of the media powerhouses here on campus in the same place. Nobody reads the Kickapoo Chronicle, right? I would hardly call it a powerhouse. Okay. Well, anyway, the, they had an envelope with them. It looked exactly like the one Betsy had at the party that night. Uh, oh my god! My guess is, is that they're planning something. A, a meeting, a, a panel, a coup. A coup. They delivered that envelope to Betsy, I bet. It's gotta be the same one. But the question is, why does she want to get rid of it? Your guess is as good as mine. No! no!